Have a time. What's up everyone and welcome back to another Hammer Time video. Today I'm going to show you how to use a coping saw in place of a parting tool. So before we get started I want to mention one thing real quick. So back in uh, Craftsman's Legacy, I think a couple months ago Eric Gorgeous launched uh, the, the Craftsman from one of his episodes. Uh, I think it was the first one actually. And he launched it on YouTube so you could just watch it for free. So I ended up watching that and in there he said, I believe it would be hard to find a teenager today who knows the difference between oak and maple or what a coping saw is. And that's sad. Well, Mr. Gordon, I think you found a guy because I'm Lucas Roy, I'm 14 years old and this is a coping saw. This is a piece of oak. And this is a piece of maple. So, I think you found a guy because I do know what those kind of woods are and if you're interested sometime I'd love to do a collaboration with you. So alright let's go head over to the lathe and I'll show you how to do it. So as you can see you just hold it straight and you make sure the teeth are facing the right direction and you uh, just hold it straight and push it in. Now if you go too fast, if you have the lathe running too fast, your cut's too thick, the wood's too wet, all these variables it's not going to work very well. Now what you can do is just use like a um, like a regular uh, pull saw and that works great too but you just have to be careful not to overheat the blade and if you do that then blades toast and you're not going to get very far same thing if you were to do that to any wood turning tool all right you guys uh, hope you liked the video uh, make sure to go check out Eric Gorgeous he has a really great channel I've subscribed to him already that was a while ago and uh, really love his videos keep up the great work all right guys, till next time, happy builds.